Hello everybody, how are you doing? It's been a while since I've made a proper video where I've spoke to you guys other than promoting my new channel, which you should go and check out. I thank anybody who has subscribed to that and I appreciate getting the views on that. I thank you for all your support. But someone asked me, maybe I should do a little vlog of what's going on in my life because there's been a lot and I've been kind of missing in action. Now I've been dealing with a lot of family issues, um, stuff which I can't really go into detail about, um, but it meant that I have fallen out with my father who is the professional who was helping me out with my YouTube space. Now I have to do everything myself, which means I've had to learn how to do everything, the tools that I've needed, I've had to buy the materials, buy the tools, and carry on learning to basically do this properly because it's my house and I don't want to buzz job anything. Now I'm an engineer myself, so I am a trained professional in using tools, but this is not my area of expertise. So learning has been a big part of this process, and it's one of the reasons why it's taken so long. Now I thought I'd walk you around, show you what I've done, and the complications that I've felt, and noticed, and basically, <laughs> the hell that I've been living in, but I'm finally starting to get somewhere with this, and I just want to give you guys an update. So, let's have a look around. So, originally, all I wanted was this wall to be plastered. Um, I thought it was going to be a quick day job, which, when it actually came to the plastering, was about a day job. But, with everything else, um, <laughs> I found that my wall had blown out, which meant that the plaster had physically come away from the wall, and the only way to fix that is by stripping the wall back completely to the brick. Um, so that was done. Then we found out that this wall had also done it, and that had to be fully replaced. But I had a radiator here, and the radiator was hanging onto the wall by a thread. So that was ripped off, and because I've installed an aircon in my house, because that's what I do as a job, I no longer need a radiator in here. So I had to get the pipes ripped out. Now that was done by my friends. Uh, they've just ripped out a pipe here and here. Because it's called microbore, it means that they just have to crimp it shut, which was really, really nice because I thought it was gonna be a massive complicated job, and it took them about 20 minutes. Then I had just a single plug over here, which has now been reran into two plugs here, and here, and I got my electrician friend to put those in for me, which was great, because that saved me a load of money, because just those two jobs there probably would have cost me quite a few hundred, but because I have friends who did it, it made it amazing. When, if you're ever gonna do a DIY project, make sure you have friends who know a little bit about something so they can give you advice or they could do stuff for you and you can just offer them a favor in return. Now, when the electrics were being ran for this, we found out that the flooring had wood wear which means I have to replace a load of the floorboards, which was an expense I was not expecting. Um, and it's a big task. I am ripping up floorboards now to replace the whole floor. I also found out that I couldn't use the carpet while I was on top of here as underlay uh, because it would affect my laminate wooden flooring, which I'm putting in brand new. So I bought brand new uh, underlay, which will be fitted all around. Um, also, I ripped out this window ledge, it was a horrible PVC window ledge, and I've actually made my own window ledge, which um, I constructed today. This has been glued, um, and it's been nailed in, and what's going to happen is this is going to get sanded down. I'm going to fill in the cracks with some sand dust, um, and then I'll probably sand it down smooth, so you can't even notice that. It'll get sealed, it'll get painted, it'll get put back into place, and then I can silicon around these gaps here to make it nice watertight and airtight and it will be beautiful, and I've built that myself. I'm very proud of that. Um, that is my first ever window ledge, which I built myself, and I, I just think it looks cool. It looks nice, um, which brings me on to the other parts. So, I've had to get skirting board to fit all around here. Um, we had a complication here with the plasterboard because these have been put in quite low, and you shouldn't really put plugs in that low. Uh, the bottom of the plasterboard is snapped, so what I've got to do is use a bit of polyfiller, a bit of um, what's called um, plasterist tape, um, go across, polyfill it, sand it down, make it level, and it will look like it never happened in the first place. So complications have happened, mistakes have been made, and stuff has been learned. This has taken months. You know, stuff what you think would take you a matter of minutes, like this window ledge, I thought it'd take me a matter of minutes. I've been working on this for like three hours uh, because it was off. I had to figure out a way because there's a gap underneath and the brick's not quite level where it's sitting on that I've had to put um, foam in to kind of level it out. And then I've had to figure out a way to cover up the gap. Um, so stuff which you just have to constantly learn. You can only learn from making mistakes. Um, and the next part is ripping up all the floorboards. Um, and I've got a hoover and clean, I've got to find space for everything that I've bought. So it just, it's just a never-ending circle. And when people say, oh, DIY projects, you know, 
be careful what you start because you'll regret it. It is true. <laughs> It is so true, but when it comes together, I'm gonna to be so proud of what I've achieved, but it has been very time consuming and very stressful. I've had to constantly think about how I'm doing stuff. What can I do? Can I actually achieve that by myself? Do I need help with it? Um, and it's quite a scary project to take on by yourself because if something goes wrong, what am I gonna do? I have to go get a professional in to finish off what I've started and what I could have done wrong. They could be like, well, you're gonna to have to do it this way or this way or this way. So. It's a learning curve, it's a learning process, but it's kind of fun now because I'm getting to the point where I'm actually doing a lot of stuff rather than thinking about stuff. But that's been my life for the last five months, plus the family issues. So yeah, I apologize for not making videos, but this is just a little update of what the YouTube space is looking like. Um, when it's done, it's gonna be awesome because there's gonna be a fish tank in here, there's gonna be a desk actually built into the wall so it floats. Um, and I'm gonna have plants and it's gonna just look really luscious and beautiful and at the moment it looks like crap but I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's done I'm gonna be so proud and so excited and I can't wait to share it with you guys thank you for everybody who support me on patreon because I've actually been funneling a lot of that money into this space to make something so when I do come to film YouTube videos in the future I can just set up and go and it means that's gonna be a lot more content and I just want to say thank you for everybody who watches my videos because I couldn't have done this without you guys. Um, and it really gives me confidence because I want to show you guys the space which YouTube has built for me and a space where it allows you to see the best of my content. So I'm going to say love, I can't do it with you know, one hand, but love, peace and chicken grease. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.